r slash ask reddit what's the most nsfw thing you've experienced in a professional situation walked in on two people having sex in the break room they claimed they hated each other and they ended up together do you sell paper are you married to a refrigeration baron what line of work you in bob you've got a lot to learn honey there was a guy and a girl not in a relationship that used to regularly go into the sick bay around lunchtime for 10-20 minutes. She was a bit loud. Everyone nearby knew when they were in session. Are you on the USS Enterprise? It would be unprofessional of me to say. Okay, Dr. Flox. More like Dr. Fox. Work in the Niku. Walked in on a mom and dad snorting mom's pain pills off the medical cart. Go figure their child was also born addicted to methadone. Immediate reporting done. The nose babies I took care of during my residency Niku rotations were so sad. Uh, thankfully, none of the parents have been as bad as that. And one mom who was on Suboxone to get clean herself was at the bedside nearly 24-7 to comfort her baby. The one that angered me the most was when the mom of a baby in withdrawal brought along medical records from the pill mill that had been prescribing her Q6H Percocet. Some of the clinic notes were dated when she was well into her pregnancy, and the physical exams all said abdomen soft, non-tender, non-distended etc. So it was obvious that pathetic excuse for a doctor either had never even examined her, purposefully lied so he could get money, or simply didn't care and didn't bother updating the physical exam in his note template. In Brazil, we have this WhatsApp joke where they put some random video with the audio of Alexis Texas moaning very loud. Once I was on a kinda serious meeting and my boss got caught in one of those jokes. Needless to say that everyone laughed and took a 5 minute break before resuming the meeting. When I receive an 11 second audio file on WhatsApp I never risk opening it. Also I always have my speakers muted since this started. Jamadeo do zap threat is real. Till a little bit about Brazilian memes. I worked in a photo lab at a my right out of high school. This was just a couple of years before digital cameras killed film so I still dealt with people bringing in disposables and rolls of film to develop. 95% of the stuff I saw was kids birthday parties and vacation shots. The rest though was some NSFW stuff. One woman in her mid 40s that apparently liked to party with her friends had a thing about resting her boobs on people's head. Nice boobs BTW. Another guy dropped off a disposable camera for one hour development. I ran it through and the entire role was a woman who was drop dead gorgeous just posing naked on the bed. Well when he returned to pick up the pictures she was with him. That was a very awkward moment of ringing them up and she couldn't look me in the eye. Had another guy drop off a camera who was a real class act. Naked photos of his GF wife, a collection of guns, and him snorting coke off a family picture. One other story I have is about a couple that brought in a roll of film. I ran it through the process and most of the images were innocuous. But the final few were probably a little saucy. I say probably because the images were so dark I couldn't make out much more than a silhouette. It was likely the wife modeling off some lingerie. I never printed the pictures though since they were almost all black. They picked them up and returned a short time later with my manager and store director in tow demanding I be fired for stealing those last few shots. My explanation didn't satisfy them so I was forced to put their film back in the machine and show exactly how the shots were and why they weren't printed. After that they got real sheepish and muttered an apology before quickly leaving. That peek into people's lives dried up when digital went mainstream though. I work in a photo lab currently. No that peak didn't go away. I've seen a ton of nude photos and stuff like that come through. I once saw a girl sit down on the floor in one of the cubicles and show everyone her clit ring. Well, what's the point of a clit ring if you're not gonna show it off? Flirting with airport security? I was getting a physical for school and had to take my gown off for the hernia part that same second his phone rang and he answered it and I'm standing there butt naked while he talks on the phone for 10 minutes. What an asshole. First startup I worked at in the 90s, just a few of us, ran meetings by having the note taker use a sheet of paper placed over a playboy, if the note taker started flipping through the magazine, the meeting wasn't interesting enough and was declared over. Immediately going for the playboy even before the meeting has started. See what finishes first. You were the meeting. 
I was the spot kid at a car dealership when I was 18. Moved cars around on the lot. When we got a spot, I'd clean it. A spot was the term for when one of the salesmen sold a car. I'd also clean up trade-ins and some other vehicles when I got a chance. We took in one of those big ass conversion vans on a trade. It was left in the back lot. On most slow nights, I'd grab one of the trades that was going to go back out on the lot and clean it. I was putting off cleaning this van for a while. It's a big ass can and it would take hours. So when I finally decide to clean it, I grab the keys and head to the back of the lot. Open the door. There's two of the male salesmen going at it on the shitty pull out bed. While the female sales manager watched from one of the swiveling captain's chairs. There was a shit ton of coke involved. I shut the door and slowly backed away. Never cleaned that van. The service manager asked why I hadn't already. Told him that. Let's say Jan. Said I didn't have to. And to ask her. Few days later it gets loaded up and sent to auction. Nothing was mentioned for a few days about what I saw. But it was weird in the sales office when I was around. Few days later 9-11 happened and all that was forgotten. So you Ray saying 9-11 fixed your awkward work situation. Was fixing someone's computer. Found about 35 gigs of child porn. Called the cops and called the dude saying his computer was fixed and ready for pickup. He showed up at the store with the sheriff waiting just inside. Duck that's horrible. Another question. How the duck does someone leave something like that around? Was the person just thinking you wouldn't try and find the problem and not stumble upon that? You'll be amazed at the painfully obvious places that computer illiterate or novices find to hide their sensitive digital content. Most of the time it ends up sticking out like a sore thumb. I've taken a deep breath before opening intentionally and poorly obscured files more than once. In my company we have live video in every conference room. If a meeting is scheduled between two rooms, then the live conference connects automatically and the two rooms are both on live video. Anyone in the company can schedule this. Well we were in a meeting that ended and the next meeting connected. Turns out the people in the room for the next meeting did not know this and were in a very NSFW activity. The whole executive team watched in shock what was happening in the 100 inch screen in front of them. They still have jobs. But that will haunt them forever. That's unfortunate for those folks but I am more curious about the automatic video conferencing. What software do you use? Does it tie into Google Calendar or something? I worked at a honey baked ham store right out of high school. Loved that job. But I remember one day during the summer when a van pulled up right by our side door entrance and a kid, around 10 years old, popped out of the van, ran into our store, and beelined into the restroom. It was a weekday afternoon and things were slow. So we didn't mind that they weren't customers and were just there to use our restroom. So a few minutes later the kid runs out of the store and we don't think anything about it. A few hours later the lady that's on that shift with me is cleaning the sales floor and restrooms for the end of the day and I'm in the back production room cleaning up and doing dishes. Suddenly I hear her screaming my name and yelling for me to hurry over to her. Lo and behold she's at the men's restroom holding the door open with a look of utter disgust on her face. I walk up to her expecting that the kid had left a floater or something. But no, it was so much worse. There was poop everywhere. That brat had smeared his crap along almost every surface imaginable in the restroom. The mirror, the grab bars, the toilet seat, the paper towel dispenser, the walls. I spent the next two hours cleaning the surfaces as well as I could. Had to throw away the towels we use for cleaning the kitchen. Normally get them laundered by service. And use the disinfectant we use in the kitchen on everything I could see in that restroom. Still makes my skin crawl thinking of that day and it's probably the reason behind my irrational hatred of all children. Children can sometimes be massive ducking a-holes. When I was 19 I worked for a quick oil change place and I had a woman sit in her car and change every stitch of clothing while I stood there and wrote down her information. Her partner was robbing the place while you were getting her info. I was staying in Newport RI remodeling a house and the tenants downstairs was a very beautiful medical supply saleswoman. We had a dumpster on site and she asked me if she could throw away a few bags of trash. Sure. No biggie. My boss was stomping on the trash to make some room and a bag tore open. It was full of dildos. Dozens. He lined them up on the dumpster. A few still worked. Buzzing along. 
We found an order form for a whole new bunch of dildos. She must have been a freak. I couldn't let her find them sitting there. Two of us were staying on the second floor while we were working there. She was a quiet girl and it obviously would have been awful. I covered them up with trash. 20 years of great spank bank material though. She was gorgeous. Medical supply saleswoman. I think she was a dildo saleswoman. Who didn't want the world to know she was a dildo saleswoman? No. She was selling surgical staplers. She showed us a demonstration of the product by stapling a pork shoulder together. It was impressive. She was doing really well having the northeast almost to herself. She'd be around 60 today. I wonder how she's doing. I used to work at a sign shop that specialized in vehicle wraps. My co-workers were always ducking around. And one of them must have lost her bet or something. I walked around a tour bus we were wrapping. And I saw him standing on the scissor lift, applying the wrap to the bus, wearing only his work belt and shoes. What do you mean lost her bet or something? Did you not ask? I just laughed and went back to my desk. I worked at a KFC. We had a nasty ex-stripper that worked there and a horny manager. She wanted to go home early so they agreed that she could if he got to finger pop her a-hole. They did it right behind the chicken warming case. I quit about a week later. I love that, in that moment it wasn't enough to quit, but after about a week of thinking on it. Manager snaps on rubber glove, who wants to leave early today? I was working for an international company and we were rolling out video conferencing equipment. We had the far end system in the London office on and connected, it was like 9pm there, for testing. The monitor was off air, but the camera wasn't. I was looking at network traffic when I heard voices. Looked up and saw an exec and his male assistant. Went about my business when my co-worker walked in and said hey stupid change. Did you get the what the duck? Exec had dropped to his knees and started going at it. On our 60 inches monitor. I quickly killed the connection. And I still don't know if my side was muted or not. But if it wasn't it was probably pretty funny with some dude getting a beej and the a sudden voice coming through from nowhere. Did it use the speaker on the TV or did the system have its own speaker? If their TV was off, they may not have heard it. The system had its own speaker. The monitor was just that. Monitor only. So if I wasn't muted, they heard. Walked in on two people having sex on a desk after hours. Do you mean after hours as in outside of work? Or after hours of watching them? Nice. Worked in an office about 10 years ago, on a weekend once when we were closed, but I needed to catch up on a couple of projects I decided to jerk off at my desk, young and horny, finished and double wrapped the tissue for flushing on the way out, not a minute later, a work colleague walked in thank duck, that was close I thought and told him I'm off home and I'll see him on Monday, on my way out after I was done in the toilet I realized I had forgotten my phone so walked back into the office to see him at his desk jerking off. <laughs> My co-worker lightly brushes my junk and slaps my ass whenever she gets the chance. I'm not interested in her but I do like the attention. I have a girl at work who brushes her breasts up against me, sometimes her butt, and by god, it takes so much willpower to just keep on keeping on and not address it, but good golly, if I wasn't her boss, and slightly more attractive comfortable with women, and she didn't have a boyfriend, ro, that's a lot of caveats. 18 years old, job interview to be a server at famous Dave's BBQ, I wore a strapless dress, looked super cute, the manager was a 40 something year old guy, he ran through the job's details and answered my questions, we stood up to shake hands and seal the deal, when I shot up excitedly from my seat, radiating a big thankful smile, my feet were stepping on the front of the bottom of my dress, the dress went down to my hips and I just stood there, all perky tits in his face and what not. Manager I worked with often said some really sexual things to me, despite being a gay dude, I'm female, made me wonder if he was hetero curious, another manager implied he was into bondage like heavy master slash slave play while we were working together on something, good times. A professor feeling my ass and crotch in his lab. He also tried to kiss me and kept on telling me how much he wanted to see me naked. It was as creepy as it sounds. What the duck? Throw away because we still work there. I guess it was the time my co-worker and I hooked up in the break room. Most of the company was out on a conference and the few who remained went out to lunch. 
I had no idea he even liked me. I had a huge crush on him. I was leaning over to get coffee and as he brushed by me I felt his crotch against my ass. I'm not usually so daring. But I thought duck it and shove my tongue in his mouth. Surprisingly, he felt the same way. We were too nervous to go all the way. But I did get finger banged to orgasm. I also blew him. He was just about to come when we heard our co-workers coming back from lunch. Poor guy. So yeah, most NSFW thing for me was getting fingered by my co-worker in the break room and then blowing him to almost completion. He was just about to come when we heard our co-workers coming back from lunch. Poor guy. I was expecting an erotic story, not a horror novel. I work in a sport products retail. We have a golf shot simulator in order to try different clubs and balls and study the player's technique. One day a young couple starts to shoot balls. Boyfriend prepares the gesture while his girlfriend stares. So the golf club went back and impacted violently against her face, resulting in a completely disintegrated jaw. Lots and lots of blood and teeth everywhere. I will never forget the boyfriend's face after the accident, attending his fainted girlfriend. So pale and scared. Lifeless gaze. Emergencies came and took care of her very quick and went to hospital. One of WTF moments in my work time. For sure. Too long didn't read at a golf simulator in a sports store. A man accidentally destroyed girlfriend's jaw with a club. Christ man the rest of these are about titties. Some patient at the hospital comes out of his room wearing jeans. With a boner protruding through the open zipper. The people he walked past on that floor were too in shock to say anything to the guy. So he strolls onto the elevator and heads down to the lobby. Full mast. Goes to the cafeteria. Picks out some food. Then security finally makes it to the guy while he is waiting in the checkout line. Think he got a psych consult after that. Disclaimer. This didn't happen to me. But to a coworker. However I handled a lot of the calls regarding it. I used to work as a property manager for rental houses and units. We started getting a lot of calls and complaints about one of our units. Most of the complaints were general. They're very noisy. There's people coming and going at all times of the day and night. They're running a business from the property etc. However some of the complaints started to get specific as to what that business was. Two male co-workers were sent to the property to check out what was going on. The tenants were Asian. And their English was pretty subpar. So one of the guys knocks on the door and a young Asian woman answers the door. He introduces himself and she just nods along. He says something along the lines of we've been receiving a few complaints about your tenancy. So we've just come today to satisfy ourselves that nothing is going on. Well she must have picked up on the word satisfy. Because she's nodding and saying yes. And telling them to come in. They walk down the hallway into the property, and my co-worker opens the first door he comes to, and there is a couple inside going at it. He quickly shut the door, and they start heading out, only to be overtaken by the client from the bedroom hightailing it out of the property. Long story slightly shorter. The police were called and many of the unapproved occupants were illegal immigrants. And yes they were operating an illegal brothel. A sign was hung up on the door with a notice advising that the business that previously operated there was no longer there. And gave our office number for further enquiries. It was honestly surprising how many calls we got asking for information on where the business had moved to. Me personally. The most inappropriate thing I experienced was talking to one of my landlords about one of his properties and some repairs that needed to be done. While we were talking he started using the toilet. He started talking quite vaguely and I could hear that a choi splashing noise. And then he flushed and continued on the conversation. Executive at a major billion dollar tech corporation got fired after a Vegas marketing conference. At a huge party where CEO and major officers were in attendance as well as some celebrities. He grabbed a video camera from the marketing team. He was executive. They kind of had to give it to him. And he proceeded to go into the ladies restroom and walk along past all the stalls with the camera above the doors pointing down. He had to have been completely lit. He was gone the next day. Not really a professional situation but it was on the job soon. But in college I was a delivery boy for Domino's and I had to run through a parking garage staircase to get to these apartments. I busted through the door to the stairwell and almost hit some high school kid getting a BJ. Didn't really want to be a buzzkill so I just gave them a quick noise EE and kept running lol. 
while I was on cash at McDonald's during a warm summer day I had a 40ish hot ass milf of a customer practically flash me to see if I would give her any free. She was only wearing a bikini top and shorts and she started pulling it to the side. I was so shocked I had no response but her gf, I'm guessing, got her to stop. It took like 5 minutes before I could think again. I was an hs at the time. Whoa, you made it to the end, you're a ducking beast, I'll cut you a deal, smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh, it's free and that's a great price. Great